Hello, hello, welcome back. Let's dig in. We have the first box for the February. Happy Valentine's Day, that's coming up next week. So let's go ahead and open this up and uh, take a look what we have. So we have the Happy Valentine's Day. I got there before they did. So first choice, if you wanna just screenshot all of them, this is nice, looking forward to this. We have here, just gonna be quiet for now. Okay, pretty small booklet for this month. Uh, as always, we have a QR code. Usually, yeah, QR, G, GQ. So they usually have this. I'll just set it aside because there's no need for it, really. Let's take a look what we have. We have another milk commodity. And this is in... What do we have? Sense space. I think that's what it is. The milk, right? I think that's... Yes. So they have commodity and I think it's the book and then the milk. I think I already gotten this from another i don't know if it was allure or if it was another brand but um i definitely got this before um so um i guess i have another one i don't really use it it's not my scent but it's a nice brand i guess the next item is tri balm and this is three in one moisture cleanse exfoliate possibly hydrate okay and this is interesting. Let me see if there's English. Here's the ingredients. And let me see. I'm trying to find. It should be here, right? Should be how to use it. Here you go. I keep staring at it. So cleanse, exfoliate, and moisturize in one simple step. So you're not supposed to wash this. Use morning, night. Apply directly, gently. Rinse off. Okay, so you're supposed to rinse off. Okay, so you can put it on and then you're supposed to leave it. I can't open it, but this is interesting. You know what? Let me... Let me open this. This is a unique product. I want to check it out. I want to see how the bottle looks. If the bottle is in, um, in the glass container. Or if it's actually plasticky. Let's see. And had it looks like a deodorant stick, just round. Does it open? This is crazy. Very unique. I can't even how do you I don't wanna break it, you guys. Okay, yeah. Oh, Duh, you're supposed to. I kept lifting, but you're supposed to unscrew it. So I'm guessing you have to twist it and then it comes out. This is how it looks. Let me smell it. It smells citrusy, like lemony. It's not the greatest smell. I'm going to put it on some on my skin just to see how it reacts. You're supposed to wash it off after some point. So it's very glistery. I don't know if you can see that on my hand right there making sure that it focuses so just gonna test it out but i'm not big on a smell the smell um is more like a cleaning product a uh, healthy natural but still a cleaning product so i'm not sure how I, uh if you don't like a uh, strong smell citrusy smell and citrusy i mean by lemony um then this is not for you but i think this is a lovely item if you're not traveling in hot um uh, climate this would be a lovely for travel so it doesn't spill it doesn't get over like, your things unless it's too hot if it's too hot obviously it's gonna become um, more liquidy and might stain whatever you have the next item is a hava and this is a essential day moisturizer I have this all over my bed. I just throw them. Okay, it's sealed. I, I already have this, so I know how it smells. It's a nice smell. Um, it's very moisturizing for sure. It does leave it a little bit of greasy. That's why I put it at night. And because I don't touch anything, I don't use anything. I just put it on, slat it on, and then I just go to sleep. So it doesn't really bother me. But it is, uh, for me personally, a little bit on the greasy side. So I don't use this when I actually handle my bags or my clothes or whatever it is. Uh, just because it is a little bit on the greasy side from me. Might be a different story for you. Happy Skin. And this is a um, Lush Facial Exfoliator. 
interesting container look it feels cheap but i don't, I don't want to say in the bad um way it's just how that it just how that looks made by james hello james i think this is so cool check that out they actually tell you when it was made and it's who it's made by um i'm curious to see this is the first time i'm seeing this so i'm curious to see if they actually have a bunch of people work there or just one or two because it looks like a sticker and every guy has or person has a sticker so they just stick it on the um the item i do appreciate that they don't hide the ingredients because usually people just slap it on but they they hide the ingredients and you can't really see shit but he did it in a nice way so thank you james and this is so cool that they actually have their own stickers that they can put on the container once they're done oh return this clean empty packaging for one dollar off your purchase that is so cool fighting animal testing this is nice interesting i will definitely have to try it and it's good for the planet very interesting and nice concept i have to say that's unique next item is beauty jasmine jasmine beauty bro styling wax it is sealed i don't want to open it um for now maybe later on i do have something that i use it's like a soap from amazon it's super cheap it's like six or seven dollars if you buy it on sale even less uh but I, it's fabulous and it does the job and i love it um but brush a small amount so you do need your own brush i'm guessing because this is just the wax and the last item you guys and i think the most popular one let me sli slide it here so you can see everything in one shot and we have ysl yes we do rouge and this is oil in stick lip color yeah they don't call it lip uh, no no it's a lipstick in 44 that's the one i chose and 44 nude not neither one of the colors was mine i just looked at the colors and i knew that none of them were mine but i just picked whatever was the closest that i felt would work for me so we'll see um yeah it looks like it's a little bit too i mean pale or light i do prefer something um at least more pink this is nude but this is more like a beigey it looks pink but just it's not gonna look pink on me um but let me open it yeah it doesn't look like it's my color but it's the closest thing so it is what it is it's the closest thing that i could pick uh the rest was either too brown or it was reddish it's just not what i wanted but um let me put it back i do not have um the YSL what do you call it lipstick so this is my first one so I guess I will test it out and maybe it will work out for me who knows but I thought this comes off but it doesn't seem like it's coming off this thing right here I was hoping it would but I no way that I unless I I guess I break the lipstick yeah it doesn't come off oh uh, okay well we'll test it out let me come back to once i'm ready let me come back to this one the three in one um okay so it's i would call it like a spa or like a mask rather than a moisturizer uh it's very it's not permanent so it's not like you put in moisturizer on your face and uh you can just go about your way it's very very um oily it's not sticky but this is not, I would think this is not for oily skin. This is for dry, maybe combination, just not for T-zone. This would be, if I put this on, unless I wipe it, but even if I wipe it, um, I, I show more oil on the T-zone. This is very greasy, you guys, very greasy. It doesn't go anywhere, so I guess the idea is supposed to be that you put it on your skin and it absorbs whatever you need to absorb. And then whatever's left over that you kind of wipe it off. And if you really want to have a kind of a spa day, then you hold it for 10 minutes and then you wipe it off. But I think it's a little bit too greasy. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I think this is for winter time, especially if let's say you are skiing or if you are in a um, very cold climate. I think this would work. 
Uh, it's not for every day, at least for me. Um, I'm in New York. It's regular weather, um, normal seasons, right? We're not talking about um, exceptions. But this is a little bit... I don't want to put it down because it's a nice concept, right? It's just, it's not for my climate. It's not for me. Like, it's greasy. I have to wipe this all off. And I would rather, if if I'm using something or if I need to put cream on, I would not be putting this on. So this would be like an emergency. Um, and I think it, that's what it's going to be. It's going to stay in my, um, in my drawer. And then if it's super winter, super dry, I think it's also for people that, you know, if if you don't have a humidifier or something and your skin dries out super fast, I think that's when it would work out. But um, not for me. I think I would keep it for emergencies or if I ever go skiing, which I've never gone and I don't have the urge to uh, that much. So it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you got in your box. I would love to hear your collection or your selection of what you picked. If you picked something else. Otherwise, stay tuned. At some point, I will be getting the BoxyCharm and the Ipsy. Hopefully, they are on track and in time for this month. Last month, they had a boo-boo with all the crazy weather. And everybody, I think, had accidents. So, hopefully, everybody is safe. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please write below. I hope you have a wonderful and happy Valentine's Day, whether you're celebrating with family or loved ones. Or if you're celebrating with your friends, it does not matter. I hope you have fun and I hope you do something special for yourself. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye.